Good morning, everybody. I just got to check one thing here. Oh, weird. Strange. Okay. Good morning. Hi. Let's find us. We are right there. Let me get the link out. <clears throat> I don't know why every day there's something new on Facebook. I don't know why they just don't leave things alone. Leave it alone, Facebook. And StreamYard is still working on Facebook, although I got a message saying that it wasn't. And I know it's working on YouTube. Okay, the link has been sent. I have a little tickle in my throat this morning, so <clears throat> bear with me. Good morning, Judy and Susan and Joan and Carol and Jackie and Debbie. Who else is there? and Letizia, and Dieta, and Ellen, and Carmen. Yeah, it's working on both. So I don't know, they must have solved their differences, Facebook and StreamYard over the weekend, because the letter I got said that on Monday it would no longer be working. So I'm like, okay, but I guess that's not true. Hi, Alita and Debbie. Debbie, you got some snow. <coughs> and Beatrice, Sandy. Other Debbie, Stacy, Ruth Ann. All right, let's just start. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, <clears throat> Denise says, Good morning. Thank you, everyone who wished me a happy birthday yesterday. She's 70. Don't tell the world. Well, she already told everybody, so I'm sure I'm okay to say that. To me, it's a proud number. When you when you hit those high numbers, it's a proud thing. Anyway, this is me, creatorofcuteness.com, and this is where you can find all my stuff, like the books and the classes and the collage elements and the cuteness of all kinds here at creatorofcuteness.com. Ornamentally Yours, you guys, was so much fun. If you are not part of Ornamentally Yours, you really should go uh, be a part of it because um, all the videos are still there so you can still participate and still get in on the videos for a while. We hold the spring videos until we start doing stuff for the fall so all the classes are still there for a little bit of time so you should go and check it out. This is what I did. I kept it here so I could show you guys in case you missed it. I did egg carton rabbits if you've never seen these before, it's certainly not my idea. I got it from Instagram and it was so much fun. It's at the part of the egg carton here and you put it on um, just cardboard from Amazon or somewhere. And then I did, so I did that one and then I have not finished this one yet, but I did a boy and a girl rabbit. This girl needs whiskers, but we're trying to figure out how to do that. I used chunky glitter and paint, and this guy got this giant bow tie, so cute. And I'm gonna hang this off of it. It's gonna look like one of those old fashioned pictures. And yeah, I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna go in a place of honor. I don't make a lot of things for myself. So I really, really like this. That was my second class. My first class was, um, let me show you. We did um, cuteness clusters with rabbits. So this is BB Bun Bun and Friends. And it is a free digital download that is available in Ornamentally Yours. You can go there and grab it. So we made these clusters and then I put them on cards and stuff. That one, this is a cluster. This whole piece here got put on a card. This one might have to go in a journal. I really, really it may not ever get sent out as a card. 
but the little bunny is um, the part of the cluster. Here's another bun bun peeking out from behind the ring. And then this one, interesting thing. I don't know if you can see it, but my crystal lacquer cracked. I don't know if you can see the cracks in the bunny, but it cracked, like crackle cracked. So I don't know what I can do about it. Not much. So that's what happened in Ornamentally Yours, at least in Lindsay's part of Ornamentally Yours. So definitely go over and check it out. It was really fun. Um, and then here we go with what we did. We did do basketball, which probably should be crossed out in orange. We did puppy day as part of our basketball. Puppy day. And then last night I did night skies. I'll show you in a minute. Not really excited about it, but what can you do? Today is Waffle Day. I think I posted that it's National Waffle Day. I don't know if that's true. It just says Waffle Day here. So it's definitely a day to have waffles. If I live near the Waffle House, I would go. But today is Waffle Day. Tomorrow is purple. This must be Michelle's favorite color, Michelle Durham that did um, these prompts. I bet purple is her color. So April is coming really fast, you guys, really fast. Monday is April 1st, uh, as in April Fool's Day, but we're not doing that. We're just doing April 1st. So we have four weeks or five weeks here, Lindsay week, autumn week, winter week, spring week, and summer week. We're going to do either cards or tags or... Um, pockets or different things that we can use either in journals or to send us cards. So if you want to make cards, you're going to need to get a bundle of cards and envelopes together. And that's what we'll be doing. Um, so yeah, I think for Lindsay week, I might do something different. I don't know yet. I don't, I just don't know. Journal play day is coming up next week, not this week, but the following Saturday the 6th, and then May 4th, and then June 1st. No, April 6th. Did I say April? It's April, if I didn't say April. Journal play day is where we create a journal each month. We work in the journal each month. Um, you get artwork from me each month. There are new techniques learned each month, or hopefully. I mean, sometimes the techniques aren't new to you or to me, but I teach you a new technique each month or we do a new project or we do something in our journals each month. I already know what we're gonna do this month, so that's exciting. Um, so you get all this artwork each month. This is what you're gonna get for April. You're gonna get the butterflies and borders. You're gonna get journal blocks, so you can do some journaling. You're gonna get um, a background. You're gonna get another background and you're gonna get another background. So I can highly recommend that you join Journal Play Day because it is super fun. Each month is different. It's a great way to journal your way through the year to have 12 little mini books that are um, able to be put on your bookshelf and look beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just super fun. So sign up now for that. Look at my new Pantone postcards that I did this morning. I did that one and this one. I don't know if you can see yet, but these are two that are coming this week. This one's got gold. Can you see that? And this one's just blobs. And I love it. Blobs of color. But that's just the beginning to the card. <laughs> this was today's card. I'll show you. Today's card was this guy. Isn't he cute? He's got square ears. He's a bunny with square ears. Okay, so here's what we did. Uh-oh, I've lost my laugh tag. There it is. Sorry for the arms. Just keeps falling out. Then we did spring, remember? We did March Madness. 
We did Puppy Dog Day. Uh, I goofed. <laughs> and then we are over here. So I think I'm going to save this for purple. So here's what I did last night. Both B and Tina had the funnest quote that I really, really liked. And I read it. I did not write it down. I thought I had it memorized. And then I went to write it down and I had no idea what I was writing. So I ended up writing my own thing. It says, let's admire the night sky for decorating it with the sparkles of the stars. And I have this new favorite, very chunky glitter that I am using on apparently just about everything. I really, really like it. So today is waffle day and it's going to go in here. But there's now there's glitter everywhere. I try really hard not to use glitter for that reason, but. Okay. So when I was in high school. Let's see. How do I draw this money? I can't even remember. I think I start with the ears. Yeah, he has kind of a diamond face. But that is way too big. It's never going to fit. Never, 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 ever. I should have put a bunny here. Maybe I still can. Maybe I could do like the Big Dipper, like shaped like a rabbit. The rabbit constellation. I got to go way up with his head. Anyway, when I was in high school, we wore shoes that had a waffle bottom. Do you guys, anybody remember those shoes? Uh, my brand of chunky glitter, hold on, it's right here, because I bought the economical tub. Oh, there's no, there's no name on it. I don't know, I bought it on Amazon, so I'll find a link. It came in lots of different colors, I just got the clear. I get clear of everything. Anyway. Uh, let's come down just a bit because it is hard to see. Um, when I was in high school, we wore shoes that were called waffle stompers. Does anybody remember those? So I wanted to do waffle stomper shoes today. And they were like big... Uh, clod hoppers. They look like Frankenstein boots. And I loved them. I felt invincible with them. Like I could step on anything. And the bottoms were soles like this that looked like waffles. I think they were called wallabies. Does anybody? Waffle stompers were my favorites, Carmen said. Debbie had waffle stompers. <laughs> oh, this page I did last night. There's no video for it. I did it in bed, basically. Uh, but I think I want this girl to be a fairy. And one arm will be here, and this arm has to be holding a waffle. Okay. So we've got a bunny and waffle stompers. <laughs> Deb says, I'm in Florida, so it was no shoes or flip-flops. Could you wear flip-flops to school? Oh, Carmen says wallabies were different. What were waffle stompers? Were they hiking boots? I don't remember. Remember earth shoes also? Um, I think we're going to write eat more waffles. Eat more waffles. Eat 
Eat more waffles. The wallabies that had a gummy, gummy bottom. Oh, yeah, they're more like hiking boots, Lisa's saying. Okay. I kind of remember. I kind of don't. I bought myself brand new um, micron pins. Because since I've been using my other pens, my, uh, whatchamacallum pens, my fountain pens, I have neglected my, these pens, and they did not write real well recently when I went to use them. So I bought some new ones. I'm looking for a number five. Well, I'll take a three. Anyhow. Let's come down a little bit. Move all those pins. Is it a burn day? It's 8 15. Hmm. My husband's going to go burn. We have burn piles of junk and stuff. Uh, we had Atticus all weekend, and he was so cute. I mean, when would he not be cute? But it was really fun to have him. They picked him up last night for right around dinner time. But my son and my daughter-in-law, it was her birthday, so they had a Taylor Swift party at their house. And they looked so funny because he wore a Taylor Swift blonde wig. And she did not wear a wig, which was even funnier. And then my daughters are both blonde. And so the wig looked just like them. And I posted a picture, I think, on my personal Facebook page of them from behind. And it's hard to tell which one's which. So funny. He looked hysterical. B says, we looked cute with our waffle stompers at our, and our school uniforms. Oh, my gosh. we didn't. I didn't have uniforms, but that would have been amazing. But I wore them with all my dresses. I do remember that. I'm going to do a different kind of nose. Just a Y and an I on either side of her nose. Can you see that? It's a Y. And then she needs super duper skinny whiskers. So I've got a 003 that's brand new. Awesome. Is that a burn day? Yeah. Nice. Okay. I like her, but her headdress is a little off kilter. Yeah, she's all right. Here's her blouse. Pretty much in high school, we wore white t-shirts and jeans. But I did wear skirts occasionally because it was like I made my mom make me these big fluffy skirts that I wore on the gong show, which is funny. I had a big yellow flowered skirt that I wore on the gong show and I looked crazy. I looked like a crazy hippie, but I loved them. I wore them all the time. Okay, let's do our waffle. I'll do the insides in a minute. Deb says, any hints on how to get a jelly roll to flow? Yeah, buy a new one. I don't like jelly roll pens because they just all of a sudden stop writing. You know? Um... There used to be tips for making jelly rolls to work. Like somebody said, rub them in alcohol one time. 
Somebody, I used to tell people to put them under their armpits where it's warm, put them in the freezer where it's cold, but basically you just throw it away. <laughs> Gel pens are notoriously bad at just stopping, but we'll see if anybody else has any suggestions. I just do not. I think my waffle stumpers were Loa Scouts. I think that's what they were called, Loa Scouts, hiking boots. That one's a different, <laughs> both different sizes. But the bottoms were definitely a waffle pattern. They look a little fierce here. They look a little like, like suction cups on the bottom, but that's okay. I got quiet. I don't want to spell anything wrong and I didn't put it in pen pencil first. Eat more waffles and wear your waffle stompers. We'll draw an arrow in case people don't know what a waffle stomper is. I think they do. They were kind of connected. These are like teeth right now. I don't think I drew them exactly right, but that's okay. Oh, it snowed here yesterday a little bit. It didn't stick, but Atticus got to go out and see snow, and that was fun. He's been in snow a couple of times, but it's always fun when it happens again. Those are too big. Too big. Well, it's as good as it gets. Debbie says, send him to Minnesota. Oh, we have snow like you, Debbie. I saw that you said only in Minnesota. Right, like 15 minutes up the road from me, they got 27 and a half inches of snow last night or yesterday. So it happens here too. Just not at my house yesterday. It was warm enough that it all melted. Okay, let's erase here. Then I can put in the details. <laughs> the waffle stumpers are funny looking. That's not exactly what they look like, but I think I'm going to put a line on the bottom of these. That looks better. It's okay. All right, let's get a big pen. Let's 
Let's use an eight. I'll do kind of crazy lettering. I left my bread dough out last night. It was supposed to um, ferment or whatever they call it, cure. I don't know. I can't remember the words. Uh, for 8 to 12 hours, and I fell asleep, of course. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, I remembered it was sitting out, and I went to get it, and it looks a little dry, but I'm making it anyway. Oh, no, you have a 5? Did it not come? Oh, here. This must be the 5. There it is. Because I'm going to try to make a loaf every day this week so that I have some for Easter. And have you guys seen either on Pinterest or Instagram the cool new way somebody came up with to dye eggs where you take a paper towel and you take your egg dye and you drop it onto the paper towel, you know, kind of like splotchy. And then you put the egg inside the paper towel, wrap it up, put a rubber band around it and let it dry. And then you have this super cool tie dye looking egg. I mean, we shall see. That's all I'm going to say. Because I'm going to try it. We'll see. It sounds like it should work. I also saw somebody do it with um, uh, what you call it, sharpies. But the egg dye looks like it would work much better. Guess I'm going to have to move that F. It's in my way. I'm not a fan of Fs. I'm going to have to work on that, come up with a new way to do Fs. I kind of like this one here, but it's hard to read. So I don't know. If anybody has a good F that they're happy with, please share it. This one's not horrible. Some of mine come out really weird shape looking. And whenever you have two letters together, I never cross them together. I always cross one up and one down. It looks better, I think. But you know, again, what do I know? I think I saw my favorite movie uh, favorite Disney movie, I guess I should say, this weekend. Um, Atticus wanted to watch Wreck-It Ralph. Has anybody seen Wreck-It Ralph? Let me tell you what, it's just such a happy, cute movie. There's always, you know, because it's Disney, there's always an evil person in it. But basically it was pretty cute. Eat more waffles. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph was so cute, Carmen. I never watched it before. And then he wanted to watch. He's so cute. He's all boy, you know, like he loves his cars and his trucks. But then he brings his Elsa doll to sleep with. So cute. Um, and I gave him his Atticus doll that Carrie Hoyle made for me. Really cute. He didn't like it as much as Elsa. But he took a car to sleep with and Elsa to sleep with. So cute. And we had to watch Frozen, and then he wanted to watch Cars. So he's pretty well balanced, I'd say.
These wings are going to have to get glittered, I'm sorry to say. They're going to need glitter. And I don't have any glitter out. I put it all back in the container. So I think I'm going to end up with a mess. Maybe I'll use glitter glue. I know. I'll use glitter glue and then throw a little bit of the chunky glitter on top of the glitter glue. Maybe. Did you guys all see um, Kate Middleton's um, disclaimer about her cancer? Sad. She did not look healthy to me in that video. That's all I'm going to say. Hope she's okay. But she did not look like she was doing so good. I hope people leave her alone. I hate the paparazzi. I always have. Of course, I also like to look at pictures of, of celebrities, so it doesn't work both ways. You can't have both. I think we need a few little goodies in here. A heart hanging down from the top. Maybe an Easter egg, because you need Easter eggs. You need eggs when you make um, waffles, right? Hanging egg. It's not really very egg-shaped. That's why I don't draw eggs, because I don't draw very egg-shaped eggs. Uh, maybe we'll hang a little basket. Not sure if I can draw a basket without penciling it in. Looks like a purse. It's okay. It's not horrible. Some things I need to pencil before I do it, and some things I don't. There's Easter grass in the basket. I'll draw one more egg over here. That's a better egg. Much better hanging egg. And one more heart, and we'll call it a day here with our hanging stuff. This heart, though, is going to have a little and this egg will have a uh, polka dots I don't know why I wanted stuff hanging but I did can't answer that this heart's got to have fringe now too a little tassel I can't stop now We made sourdough um, chocolate chip cookies with the runoff or discard is what they call it. And sourdough chocolate chip cookies are pretty stinking good. I made them different than the recipe, though, because I made them like our double doodles that we make. Did, have you guys ever made the doodle recipe? It's here somewhere in the files section. It's also in my birthday party page. So I put in chocolate chips. Rice Krispies and oatmeal. And man, they were good cookies. Okay. Atticus woke up at um, three o'clock in the morning and told us he had to go to the bathroom, which was great. And he did. He went to the bathroom. Good guy. And then he went back to sleep, and guess who didn't? Me and the husband. We were up all night. i make little flowers in here. Um, yeah, 
and sleep. And then last night, my heart was racing really bad in the middle of the night. Go figure. So I woke myself up and didn't go back to sleep again. I just don't know when I'll ever have eight hours of sleep. Ever. I'm going to see a new physical therapist once a week for some stuff that's going on. And um, she is trying to teach me how to relax at night. It's not working real well, but... I'm pretty sure my waffle stompers had laces. Okay. And now for crazy tight stay. I would love to wear tights like this, but I think I would look crazy. Yesterday I had tights on or leggings, I guess they call them now, that were um, polka dotted. And Atticus is like, why are you wearing your pajamas? I said, I'm not. He thought they were pajamas. I wish I had my marking pens up here. I don't. It's waffle day. This page just got kind of crazy. But it's cute. Okay. Put all of my new microns that cost a billion dollars away. And we're gonna use colored pencils. Put those away. All right. And usually when I color with, a, with, with pencil or with watercolor, I usually like to start at the top and work my way down. So I highly recommend starting at the top and working your way down rather than starting at the bottom and working your way up. But you do what works for you. Oh, did you see I fixed my nails? I painted a bunny on my nails. Can you see it? I did polka dots here, and the bunny is here with a Posca pen. I can't do all of them because it's hard to go to the right with my left side, left hand. That makes sense. We're going to do very Eastery colors in here. But you can use a Posca pen on your nails and then go over it with top coat or sealer. What do they call that stuff? It works. I'm living proof. Atticus sleeps with white noise. And that does not work for my husband and I. So he slept in, he has a little blow up mattress that looks like a little boat. It's so cute and it blows up really easy. So we blew up his mattress and he laid on the floor and we slept in our bed. And then you turn on the white noise and it's like all hell for us it was not fun. But he went right to sleep because <laughs> he's used to it. We're used to sleeping with, don't get mad at me, 
a television. We sleep with the television on. So he fell right to sleep. What does that say? So do my grandkids. I find it annoying, Michelle said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's annoying to me because what if you're somewhere and you don't have that? Or as you grow up, do you have to have sound then to fall asleep? I don't know. I just don't think it's healthy. It's just my opinion. Well, what do I know? I'm just a, a bubby. But I think it's because my daughter-in-law grew up with that. She used it to fall asleep. You know? So whatever works... It does work really good. He's very good about going to sleep. And Cindy says, Oliver sleeps with white noise too. How are they ever going to sleep as adults? <laughs> That's what I say. And they brought us his new little potty. It's a little tiny potty because he's too scared to sit on the big kid's potty. And I find that alarming as well. I mean, we went to Target, he and I, before we came home, and um, he had to go to the bathroom, and we ran to the bathroom from the toy section all the way. You know what that's like. We're in the toy section, and then he tells me he has to go to the bathroom. We, of course, did not make it, of course. But then we went into the bathroom to try to have him go a little bit more, and he would not sit on the potty. He was scared. I'm like, well, what are you supposed to do when you're out and about? I just don't get it. I don't know. Not my kids. I'm sure we weren't perfect either as parents. And our kids grew up, that is not the color I want. Our kids grew up okay, right? I mean, not great. They're just kids now. Kids with kids. But we don't know much. We never had kids. That's how I feel. Like, I try to say stuff. And they're like, mm, no. It's all... Remember Dr. Spock? You had the Dr. Spock books? And then there were other books, and now there's even other books. So every generation thinks they're getting it right. I think the people that didn't have the books did the best. Like the pioneers, you know? I think once you're being told what to do, it's not such a good idea. I don't want that color. I want purple. Purple. And I think while I'm here, I'm going to start her skirt. It's going to be blues and purples. And it was so cute. I was doing ornamentally yours yesterday and Atticus woke up from his nap. Well, I don't think he was actually taking a nap, but he came out of the bedroom and I'm on camera, right? Doing my class. And he goes, Bubby, I have to go pee. It was so cute. Caught on camera. I thought it was cute anyway. It was very funny. Because his little potty was right next to the big potty, so he had to come out of the room to go potty. Pretty sure he just didn't want to sleep anymore. Jackie says, my daughter-in-law says her children are free range. I think she needs to put them in the coop sometimes. <laughs> That's funny. Free range children. I like that. 
I mean, I don't like it, but I like the term. We were free range. Remember when you would get on your bike in the morning or you'd go outside to play while your mom was, God knows what she was doing inside. And then you came back when it was dark. I remember that. Okay, so I'm going to try and add a little bit of color to the wings before we put the glitter glue down. We talk about that all the time, how we were just kids out there playing. Now, if you see a kid on their own, it's like, call the authorities. Okay, what color should this rabbit be? What were the last colors I did? Oh, I did a gray dog and a brown rabbit. Hmm. I don't want gray. It's totally different drawing with colored pencil after you've been doing watercolor for so long. Cheeks before the gray. Man, she's cute. Need a lighter color to kind of smooth that out. Jackie says that's a different free range. Well, what does free range mean now? Means they can do whatever they want as long as they're in the house. Atticus, we went to go get wood for the fire because he likes the fire going. Well, it's our source of heat, so we like the fire going. But he didn't want to go out and get wood, and I told him it's going to get all cold if we don't go get the wood. And he's like, he just didn't care. He just didn't want to go outside. I'm like, geez, we got to get you outside a bit more. Man, she's cute. Look at her little face. Looking for a lavender. Oh, yeah, Debbie Clark had triplets. But I'm sure she knows nothing about raising kids. That's what her kids are going to tell her when they have kids. But you know nothing about it. That's like a peach color, but it looks kind of pink. Get him interested in hunting bugs. Yesterday at Target, he picked up in the dollar spot a little um, trailer that had bug catching accessories, and he wanted it really bad, and it's $5 or $3 until we got to the car section of Target. And then he put it back, and he wanted a car. So I was hoping for the bugs. Guys, I don't like these hanging things now. I like them better now. Okay, let's color our waffle. Here's a beige. Waffles are not really beige. And we'll go back in and add the nooks and the crannies. I love waffles. But I'm not a fan of waffles for breakfast. I like waffles for dessert because of all the syrup. Syrup. Syrup or syrup? 
My husband and I have an argument about that all the time. Not really an argument, but we always say, is it syrup or syrup? He says syrup, and I say syrup. And we did look this up one time, and it is syrup. Let's put butter in the center. I don't put butter on my waffles. Do you guys put butter in your waffles? I only put syrup. Hey, she's getting there. Colored pencil takes a lot longer than watercolor, it seems like. Let's give her some tights. Different colors. Oh, Carmen says she likes butter with hers. Jewel says, I have a waffle bowl maker and it's fun to, oh, it makes waffle bowls. That's super cool. When my daughter worked at the fancy hotel in Yosemite, at the Iwani Hotel, um, they would bring out the butter warmed in a little tiny bowl. Not the butter, I'm sorry, the syrup. Syrup. And they would bring you a whole bottle of it warmed up. Oh, it was good. It was yummy good. She's definitely mismatched in her colors today. She was doing good with the flowers, the shirt, the skirt, and then she got to her tights and went crazy. When Atticus was here, he wanted to watch some show and he was trying to tell us about it, and he kept saying, put, 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 something. And we're like, we don't understand. What do you want to say it again? And so then I texted his parents with the name, and they didn't know. So come to find out that it was um, a show that we still don't know the name of when his parents picked him up. But his other grandparents watch it with him. It's about some dogs that drive tractors. So we got to find out what it's called. He loves that kind of show. Dogs driving tractors. Last ice cream I bought at the store, like the gallon tub was waffle, waffle ice cream. Like it was waffle cones and fudge and chocolate and vanilla. It was yummy. Okay, she's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Okay, breaking my rule and starting at the bottom. <laughs> Working my way back up. But if you do start at the top and work your way to the bottom, at least then you don't drag your hands through whatever it is you're doing. Does the video keep stopping for you guys? Maybe there is a Facebook problem today with StreamYard if it keeps starting and stopping. Maybe they're trying to put their Facebook spin on StreamYard or something. All my pencils need sharpening. But I can make it work. I'm going outside the lines a little bit, but it's okay to go outside the lines, right? Okay, 
pretty good, pretty good. YouTube is hesitating as well. Hmm. Well, I don't know then. Must be an internet issue. Must be SpaceX. Because everything was really good yesterday for the ornamentally yours, all the girls, even from Mexico. Lydia from Mexico was so good. Oh my gosh, I loved her little tag she made. <sighs> Everybody did such cute projects. And that chicky spool that Candace made, oy, that was really cute. I don't have a favorite one. Because everybody did really cute stuff. I was just super impressed. Anybody have a favorite one from ornamentally yours yesterday or the day before or the day before? They're all saved, you know. If you missed them, you can go over and watch. Oh, I forgot to make Atticus bunny pancakes. Last year for Easter, I got him a bunny um, pan. Came with Bisquick. I'm sure that has got to be thrown out. But the pan would be fun to use. Look at this pencil. Like there's... No color left to it. It worked. It worked. So now we're almost done. But two things. I want to put some color in the background. So I'm going to get some light blue and use my paints. And I'm gonna put some iridescent color from my paints. This iridescent in the blue so it has a little sparkle to it, hopefully. All right, there we go. Hopefully when it dries, there will be a little sparkly. That's good. Just a little. Yeah. I'm gonna take the sparkle, actual sparkle, and add it in so that it sparkles. Iridescent is such a cool thing. Okay. Let's get the glitter glue and call it a day. If I can find the glitter glue, here. <coughs> and let's get um, that's when my Kleenex was out here to pour a little bit of this glitter into here. Just a little bit. We'll add that to the glitter glue. So this glitter glue is called Twinkle and it doesn't have that much sparkle to it. So I thought if I use it as the, oh, that's her arm, not in her arm. <laughs> There's her wing up here. <laughs> it's hard to tell because her arm was gray. And then 
take a little bit of this and sprinkle it in. Okay, let me go shake it off. Hang on, I'll be right back. Shake it off, shake it off. It needs a little more, it's not sticking real well. Guess I should leave it, let it dry and then shake it off. Now it's just everywhere. Okay, so there she is in all her finest bunniness. Eat more waffles. And wear your waffle stompers because it's waffle day. Right? Oh, you guys, there's just glitter everywhere. Okay, well, it was fun. Fun to use as glitter. Where did it go? Might as well add a little more. In the center of that flower, in the center of that flower, and in these green dots. And I need just a bit of white, just a bit. Even though my hands are full of glitter. Ugh. other heart and her ears All right, well, parting is such sweet sorrow. I learned that in Wreck-It Ralph from the Candyland game, Sugar Rush. They were leaving at the finish line and it said, parting is such sweet sorrow. I'm like, why don't I ever say that? It's so cute. I can't even believe I almost forgot to add white. My page is very puffy. It's going to need a bit of ironing, but I'm not quite sure how to do that with the glitter. I'll have to put a piece of paper down, I guess. No, those are for crafting. I got to take them downstairs. Can I take them downstairs? Yeah, to my craft space. I'll do it later. No, I don't think so. I'll have to look. If they are, I'll bring them up to you. I can't remember. Maybe they are burnable. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm done. Got some white in there. Got some glitter everywhere. Lindsay, please put up the link for the glitter. I will when I post um, when I post this picture. Oh, oh! I already told you guys who won the books. Ann Harper won the book from the other day, and Arlene Pollock both won the uh, pop it up and round it up books from Cut It Up. So there you have it. Okay, I'll take good pictures of this because the light is weird right now and not showing real well. And I will, uh, yeah, share a picture of, of a link for the glitter because it was good stuff. And I might even go back and buy some of the colors because the colors were really pretty. I'm going to try to get all this glitter off of my table and not onto the floor. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's our prompt? Is it purple tomorrow?
tomorrow is purple. So we're going to go back to, I'm going to go back to this page here and do a two spray, two page purple spread. Not sure what we're going to do, but I'm going to fill that in. And I'm going to end up with a lot of extra pages here because I did a lot of single page spreads rather than double page spreads. So I apologize for that. But you can work on this through April if you wanted to. That's up to you. All right. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.